Hello, welcome to my channel, Kaylee Creations. I'm Kay, and I have some projects to share with you. These are some of the items that I am giving away with my loaded banner. So for those of you who don't know, I hosted a, a swap with the group Loaded Envelope Galore and more, and the swap that I chose to do are these loaded banners. And so I know you've seen them before. I, I, I showed them briefly when I was doing my Renee Bocates um, walkthrough and then also with the Loaded Envelope Galore and more walkthrough of the banners and also the tutorial. However, I did want to mention a few things about the banners because um, when I was doing my walkthrough and my tutorial for the Loaded Envelope Galore and more, um, I ended up having to edit the heck out of that video. I mean, I was just having a rough time pulling that together. <laughs> I mean, it, you ever have, have one of those times where everything, nothing goes right or whatever? Um, and so um, because of that, um, I, I'm not sure. I think I edited some things out, and, and then I just wanted to make sure that um, that I... Um, give some credit where credit was due because I'm pretty sure I didn't even really get to talk about some of the embellishments in my in my banner box I just didn't have time so um, so so my friend Kim and I had originally bought this Prima Dulce paper to make some really funky banners and um, we never got together with the because of the pandemic and so when I was asked to host this swap I thought oh I'll, I'll just go ahead and make these banners and and it was uh, going to be a little bit more of a, I don't know, it was just a different idea for a loaded banner, um, nothing like nothing like the project I ended up with. Um, but Robin had showed me these this video from the Glam Shop, and I thought, what a genius idea, and it's just so simple to put the pizza style box in between the pennant pieces, and so that's what I ended up going with. And so I wanted to give a shout out to Ariel at the Glam Shop for coming up with this idea it's just brilliant and it's just so fun um, and uh, so I, I ended up switching it up a bit because I just did the style of pizza box that I'm familiar with and I did it from one sheet of paper and I made the box a different size so my tutorial is different from hers but do go check out her her YouTube channel the glam shop and, um... And then after that, if you keep looking, you should see her finished banner. It's not the same video. Her finished banner is so cute. She did these pom-pom tassels in between the two boxes, or three boxes, I mean. And, I mean, it's just, it's just really, it came out really super cute. So, anyway, I wanted to give a thank you and a shout-out to um, Ariel at the Glam Shop. All right, for my first set of embellishments, I made some cute little die cut cupcakes and ice cream cones. And I got these from my silhouette files and I just thought they would be really fun to go with the, the cute sweet treats of the Prima Dulce. And so on the cupcakes, I did one here one here that you see with the prima flowers that went with the paper collection and the ice cream cones I used some of this glitter paper for the tops and I just love the way that turned out but anyway um, oh I loved the way all of them turned out on this particular cupcake I used the Flatback Pearls, which are called Candies from Renee Bouquets, and that particular color of the candies is Cotton Candy, so those are the Cotton Candy Candies. <laughs> and anyway, so I've just got a few little um, glitter hearts and flowers on those, and then on the Ice Cream Cone, I also put on a few glitter hearts and stuff, and um, on, the, on the cone part, I used an embossing folder that had kind of a crisscross pattern and um, embossed that and then put it onto the or cut it out so that it would look like a 
waffle cone on the bottom. So I love the way that that, came, that turned out. So I will put a link to those files if I can in the description box below. For my second set of embellishments, I chose to make a few sweet treats. So I had seen these cotton candy pieces on Pinterest and so I did a YouTube search and found a gazillion tutorials. So I don't have a link to any particular one. I just um, took a little bit of what I liked from each one. And so these were really easy and fun to make. And as I was searching for those, I found a tutorial for these cute little ice cream cone charm. And so the YouTube channel was She Crafts 2. That's T-O-O. -O. Very sweet very talented creative lady and I pretty much followed the tutorial exactly I mean I even found a little heart bead um, like she had on the top like for the cherry on the top and um, I think the only thing I did different was um, I added some diamond glaze to my paper cone on the bottom there but um, anyway go check out her channel she crafts too so I decided to bring a little bit of the circus into the swap. I think it goes well with the Prima Dulce collection and I just think this little gatefold card is just so sweet in the in the circus tent shape and so I've got the glitter paper and the gold foil paper like I used on the ice cream cones and then it's just tied together with a ribbon that's knotted into some eyelets and blank on the inside so she can get that to somebody or she can keep it and use it as an embellishment on a project and so it can be glued on the back and then of course can just open up with the tie there in the front so lots of different options with that but I just thought that little circus tent was so cute and so I really hope Jennifer likes it so I decided to make a mini journal to go with the banner and this is the second journal I made with this collection and um, actually my second journal ever. Uh, so anyway, I just really enjoy making these journals. It's really fun. I'm going to have to make a lot more. But anyway, this journal I did, I used a lot of the same materials that I made with the first one and I'll put a link to that one below. But this one also has the glitter paper for the or the glitter fabric as the cover, and it's very flexible but durable at the same time. And so I really enjoyed using that. And then absolutely love this piece of ephemera on the front. This is from one of the 12 by 12 sheets of paper. And um, so I just cut that out there, and I love just the the look of that little unicorn ice cream cone and then I topped the whole thing with a, a bow and a flower from the collection. I've got some rosette trim on the spine and some more of that collage paper on the back. Now this glitter fabric as the cover, the glitter does not rub off. It stays on there and, and it's just really amazing. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or I got this piece at Hobby Lobby in the felt section so it was just an eight and a half by 11 square of fabric and um, love the little pom-pom trims on the front. Um, just so fun to put this together. I, I am really enjoying making journals. I'm going to have to make more. Um, got a little tuck spot there. Added one of those little cupcakes. This has one signature and I sewed it in to the cover and added that little crochet trim in between my journal and the cover but um, got some digital paper there that I was pointing out and then a little paper bag that I had on my stash and whoops and um, so anyway uh, I made a little um, tuck spot there with the bottom of the bag I just glued the sides down and um, made a little tuck spot and then that side of the bag I cut that open on the top it was an afterthought I did it after the the whole signature was sewn in so it's a little tricky getting the tag back in there because um, I had to try and glue all that stuff down inside of the pocket or the side of the paper bag after it was sewed into the signature but um, it works and then I have a 
a journaling card and a, and a pocket there, but I've just paper clipped the journaling card on top of that pocket and added a few little flowers from the collection, a little bit of seam binding. And then this is just another um, cut apart from the collage paper, the 12 by 12 size. Um, more journaling paper. It's just regular printer paper and then um, more of that digital paper that I printed out. And then this layer tag here is something that I made to go in the box. It didn't quite fit. Dang it, doesn't fit. So I thought I would just paper clip it into the journal. And so Jennifer can use it in the journal or she can use it for whatever. Um, she has a choice there. But anyway, I did make it with one of the ephemera pieces, one of the ephemera tags and ephemera heart. And there's also a, a flower spray in the background there on the tag. And then the ticket I just cut out with my silhouette on some pink paper. And then I cut one of the tickets out from the paper, just the center part, and glued it on there. I added some little flowers and stuff and popped it all up. I think it turned out really cute. I love this acetate paper. Um, it's You can't really write on it. It's more for just, for just interest and looks. Um, but there's plenty of places to write journal in this in this journal. So um, that's the middle of the signature there. And a little tuck spot with lace. And topped it with a little ice cream cone. Um, love the little kitties with the fan. I think they're just so cute. And that's just cut out from the paper. And I had this leftover strip of paper. I just couldn't part with it. It was That is just so pretty right there. And I had a strip of the corrugated cardboard as well, so I made a little bookmark. So lots of journaling places and another little kind of a pocket there for some journaling cards um, to add some maybe some memorabilia in the journal um, and a little this is the other side of the little sack paper sack and I just added some tags in there but um, more stuff can be fit in there depending on how bulky you want the journal to be um, a little another tuck spot with some lace and those are cut up one's from the 8x8, one's from the 6x6 paper pad. And then another pocket there with just some ephemera on the top with some tassel trim. And another little tuck spot, and that's the other side of that corrugated cardboard. And that's it for my journal. I so thoroughly enjoy making journals. I am really excited about this. I This is my second one. This The first one I also did with this Prima Dulce collection. I will put a link to that in the description box below. And I'll also link the banner tutorial and my other videos below <clears throat> so you can get a closer look and see how the banners are made. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified of my upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.